we're back renovating my music room. Now, as this room in the past was pretty open to the elements in some parts, some mud wasps made nests long ago. So we're just washing off the remains of those. To finish prepping for the drywall, we gotta take out these nails that used to hold on that plywood. Some of them we're gonna pry out and some of them we're just gonna pound back in. Gonna give it one last cleaning, a little vacuum of all the crevices we can find. Now it's time to measure out those boards. Don't forget, measure a bunch, cut once. All you gotta do to cut a nice straight line in your drywall is score it with a sharp knife and then just break it off. Use your knife to cut through the paper on the other side and you're good to go. And in she goes. And get yourself some drywall screws and attach it right to the studs. You wanna make sure your screws go at least three quarters of an inch into the studs. So since we're using half inch drywall, we're using one and one quarter inch drywall screws. And you want to put a screw in at least every one foot. So we got to cut a little box out so our electrical boxes can fit through the drywall. Just get yourself a drywall saw. Pretty easy just to jam it right through and cut out just about any shape you need. And there we go, perfect. One of the good things about drywall is it's pretty forgiving of dings, even a little breakage or cracking. Because once you get it all up, there's gonna be a lot of spackling to cover all the gaps and the screws. Remember, drive your screws a little past flush. Better too far in than too far out. Here we go. One wall down, two to go. We'll be finishing those ones up soon. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.